Nominees in the category Morning Newscast Medium Markets are Good Morning Kansas, KAKE TV, Wichita. Uh, did a couple 360s <laughs> and all, all that. That was you, huh? Take it easy <laughs> out there. Chilean Mine Rescue, KRDO, Colorado Springs. Since then, a total of 10 of the 33 miners have now been rescued. The Emmy Award for Morning Newscast Media Markets goes to Chilean Mine Rescue, KRDO. See October 13, 2010. I'm Gitta Urbonis. And I'm John Carroll. Thanks for making us your choice this morning. We begin with the breaking news of the miners being rescued from the San Jose mine in Chile. The first miner was able to reach the surface last night, and since then, a total of 10 of the 33 miners have now been rescued. It is a dramatic scene that will last all day and possibly into tomorrow. The men have been trapped since the mine collapsed on August 5th. Again, this is a live alert look at the rescue scene just moments ago we showed you live uh, number 10 being pulled up and coming out his name was Alex Salazar nominees for morning newscast larger market are CBS 4 news 6 a.m. KCNC TV CBS 4 Denver yes, Greg well exactly Brooke I mean I haven't been to Lakeside 7 News This Morning, KMGH, Denver. Homes. At least 135 homes have been destroyed by this fire. In Morning Newscast's Larger Markets, the Emmy is awarded to 7 News This Morning, KMGH. This is 7 News. Good morning, I'm Christine Chang. And I'm Butch Jill. Look, it's Thursday, September 9th, and we begin with a developing story. Hundreds of evacuees of that Four Mile Canyon fire will get to go back into the burn area and see what's left of their homes. At least 135 homes have been destroyed by this fire so far, but we do know that some containment has been had this morning. For daytime newscast, Medium Markets, the nominees are News on 6 at noon, KOTV, Tulsa. By a tornado. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank April Snow, KRDO-TV, Colorado Springs. We're making blowing snow that much more difficult. And for daytime newscast Media Markets, the Emmy goes to April Snow, KRDO. Monument near whiteout conditions. It is blowing pretty hard, 13 miles per hour. Briargate calmed down a little bit wind-wise, but again, the visibility is just not there. We do have a lot of snow that is coming down. I-25 and North Academy, winds picking up again, uh, gusting over 20 miles an hour, making blowing snow that much more difficult to get through. And as we zoom in on live HD Doppler, In the category Daytime Newscast Larger Markets, the nominees are 7 News at 11 a.m., KMGH, Denver. I know you're talking with Greeley Police, and I think one of the fascinating things about this. Afternoon Delight, KUSA, Denver. Soccer's international governing body awarded the games to the little oil-rich principality of Qatar. 7 News Now, KMGH. And in fact, the father tells us they'd signed up for the novice trip and everything was going fine. But the Emmy for Daytime Newscast Larger Markets goes to 7 News at 11 a.m. KMGH. Irrigation ditch. Law enforcement sources tell the Call 7 investigators the body is of the same size, sex, and age range of the missing Greeley girl, Kalia Wilson. And that body was found near 35th Avenue and US 34 in Greeley. We want to get right back to the search area and the scene. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez following this for us. And Lance, I know you're talking with Greeley police, and I think one of the fascinating things about this is that ditch. In the category of evening newscast, medium markets, the nominees are Monument Child Mystery Arrests, KRDO-TV, Colorado Springs. Tomorrow, now some new information that the sheriff revealed tonight. KAKE -E, News at 10, KAKE, -E, This used Wichita. to be a part of the Midway Baptist Church here on South Broadway. Two News at 6, KJRH, Tulsa. A washing machine after it started shaking and making strange noises. The News on 6 tonight, KOTV. Tulsa. No body aches, just a fever. We just did no idea. It went that fast. And the Emmy is awarded to 
The news on 6 tonight, KOTV. Body aches, just a fever. We just didn't know idea. It went that fast. Yeah, I was shocked when she, my wife called me up and said she passed away. Send your kid to one, one day to school and the next day they're gone. It's just horrific. Tonight, families in the Ulaga Talala School District struggle to come to grips with a deadly outbreak. Two second graders are dead. Four other students are still in the hospital tonight. The family of six-year-old Jeremiah Mitchell says the kindergartner is clinging to life tonight. His grandmother says he's in critical condition in a medically induced coma. For evening newscast, larger markets, the nominees are Four Mile Fire Devastation, KDVR Fox 31, Denver. Four Mile Fire Raging Out of Control. Mid-Air Crash, KUSA-TV 9 News, Denver. Land they're searching through is owned and operated by the city and county of Boulder. It is open space. Commerce City Storm, KUSA. Nine, mile after mile of this community covered in 6 to 12 inches of hail. 7 News at 10 p.m., KMGH Denver, Kristen Morris and Matt Pastor. Somebody to shoot. A horrifying scene at Deer Creek Middle School. 7 News at 10 p.m., KMGH, Leslie Martin, Kristen Morris, and Matt Pastor. All home. There's at least three houses gone. I'm sure probably the whole neighborhood's gone now. For evening newscasts, larger markets, the Emmy is awarded to Commerce City Storm, KUSA. From Sky 9, mile after mile of this community covered in 6 to 12 inches of hail. Minutes after the storm passed, we found people out in shorts and t-shirts shoveling the ice from their streets and their driveways. Sky 9 also spotted this scene not too far away in Reunion. Pool chairs laid out for the upcoming Memorial Day holiday and the start of the summer season simply shredded by the hail. Tonight's nominees in the category of journalistic enterprise are Deanna Silk, news reporter, KJRH, Tulsa. It's how they spend half their day. David W. Delosier, reporter, KUSA 9 News, Denver. Shaking his head and just saying, this is not good. Deborah Sherman, producer, KUSA TV, Denver. On that very same day, he parked in a handicapped parking space. Taronda Thomas, reporter, KUSA TV, Denver. Percent of black women are either overweight or obese. Chris Vanderveen, producer, KUSA TV, Denver. A brother and a family still wondering where it all went wrong. The Emmy Award for Journalistic Enterprise goes to. David W. Delosier, reporter, KUSA 9 News. It quickly got worse. And then the next day, um, she couldn't walk at all. Rushed to Children's Hospital, doctors found the answer no parent ever wants to hear. I mean, a team of doctors looking at you and saying, well, your daughter has cancer. And he's just kind of shaking his head and just saying, this is not good. I think this is not good would be a very polite description. Dr. Leah Gore treated Emily for 10 months. Nominees for community service are Catching Predators, KRDO TV, Colorado Springs. The traditions that make us who we are, KUSA Denver. Uh, homeless vets in our city. It, it is astounding, some 1,600 on average every night. And for community service, the Emmy is awarded to the traditions that make us who we are, KUSA. He's in front of our 9 News studios helping to raise money and donations for a very good cause and a very wonderful group of people. Our 9 Cares for Veterans Drive is your chance, everybody, to help out veterans who have served our country and who are now homeless. Greg, it is astounding the number of uh, homeless vets in our city. It, it is astounding. Some 1,600 on average every night, uh, Kyle, in the Denver metropolitan area alone. Those numbers can go up sometimes. And as it gets cold, uh, you know, we need to really take care of these folks. They have stood up for us and for our country and done such a great service. In the category of news excellence, the nominees include Nine News, Colorado's news leader, KUSA Denver, Patty Dennis, News director. The sound of the gunfire that ended the suspect standoff with police. 
7 News, KMGH Denver, Jeff Harris, News Director. It's the party leadership and vote for you and trust you given your personal financial mistakes. The Emmy for News Excellence is awarded to KMGH 7 News, Jeff Harris, News Director. Republicans lining up to tell voters not to vote for you. So mm -hmm. why should registered Republican voters go against the party leadership and vote for you and trust you given your personal financial mistakes and campaign mm -hmm. violations where you had to pay significant fines? Well, I, I think that the, some of those things have definitely been manipulated and overexposed in the media for what they are. And, uh, and it, that has caused some damage to our campaign. Tonight's nominees for video journalist are Matt Renew, KUSA Denver. Steps and walking with the help of a new piece of technology called e-legs. Kevin Torres, backpack journalist compilation, stories from my backpack, KUSA. I think it's just horrific. It started this Dave Delosier composite, KUSA. Remembered with words carved in stone. And it's wonderful to tell their story. The story. For video journalist, the Emmy goes to Dave Delosier, KUSA. There is a lot of history on that hill. A history remembered with words carved in stone. And it's wonderful to tell their story. The stories of 254 veterans. The, the real history of the valley is right here. But in this place, meant for remembering, are 11 lost stories. It's just the fact that, that they never had headstones. No way to recognize their service or even their place of rest. And in our final category of the evening, Station Excellence, the nominees are Denver 7, KMGH, Denver, Byron Grandy, General Manager. They are on uh, YouTube as well. And bringing you updates no matter where you are. Nine News, Colorado's news leader, KUSA, Denver, Mark Cornetta, general manager. If you'd like to coach the high school's wrestling team. The Emmy Award for Station Excellence this year is presented to KMGH, Denver 7, Byron Grandy, general manager. First on scene. Connecting to viewers online. Not only been following it on my report, been following it on Twitter, been following it there on uh, YouTube as well. And bringing you updates no matter where you are. And we can see I've got uh, just 52 new tweets here in the last, what, 20 seconds we've been talking. Continuous coverage during breaking news online, on your phone, and on the air. 